near the end of the game. Once I find the other one, you have to unlock both both cauldrons in order to access the warp the warp point. Okay. Interesting. Now for Treasure Trove Co. The Second World. The first one was called Mumbo's Mountain. You just finished the first world? Yeah, I finished it in like... 14 minutes. Huh. You are quick at this game. That's gonna be the quickest world I do. This one will be. This world will have time added to it because I gotta come back to it once I've got all the codes. That's a personal mm. preference, honestly. And the shark. I fucking hate the shark. No. What shark? His name is Snacker. You're gonna see him once you uh, look at the stream. There he is. Now, what I'm not looking forward to is the fact that I've gotta go over. To the side. Once I'm over there, and quickly, probably, I'm going to see if I can kill the shark again, and then get the honeycomb pieces over there. Let's take care of the boss of this area, Nipper. He's a big ass hermit crab. Oh, cool! And of course, everybody gets pissed off because Kazooie is a bitch. Is. She. Oh, she, that's right. I forget it's a girl. Power of Kazooie compels you. <laughs> the power of the Kazooie compels you. Do as I say. I can get under, anyone can get under. Me playing this for four hours could get me through the majority of this game. Oh, wow. Now, I do have the official Prima's guide for this game. Uh huh. But I have not used it in like 10 years. I usually only keep the guides and use them when I am absolutely positively 100% stuck and cannot get out of there. Or certain games that require you to use a guide, otherwise you're not going to do it right. Yep, that too. And games with multiple like the only reason I, <laughs> Yep, and the only reason I bought it for Skyrim was mostly for the map, because I'm directionally challenged, as you well found out. Well, I don't need it. Uh, I don't need the Skyrim guide, even though we have it somewhere. Like I said, I'm directionally challenged. I kind of need it to find my way I know. around. I know you're directionally challenged. It's a burden. Or a curse. <laughs> it's a burden. This is why when I, when I say north, south, east, west, somewhere, you're like, where? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Once See, I get now, my bearings, you tell me. So I, I, I take a look at the map, I get my bearings, and then I, you know, rely upon directions. Ooh, I found another chest. Our explorer's note, which one will this give me? One I already have, apparently, because it didn't give me anything. It was a dud!
After playing in certain worlds for so long on this game, I've learned not to fear the water, unless I know in an area I will drown. Now for the character who everybody hates the sounds, because he fucking burps every word, he's a hippo. And he has appeared in, every, in all three games. His name is Captain Blubber. He's a salty why sea would, captain. Why would people be offended by a belching hippo? I can't imagine why. Because belching. People think it's gross. You know, the usual. Hell, if you can make a good belch, I'll tell you how good it is on a rating of 1 to 10. Oh, hell no, you little fucker. Come here. Calm down, it's just a bag of mastics. Ah, but I can't run because I'm overburdened. I lost him. Oh no, I see him, I see him. Come here, you little fucktard. Give me my toy. Oh, you little shit, give me back my wood! I can't exactly kill you when you're s Oh... Come back here. Well, tomorrow is Grand Theft Thursday, so... Yay! Yeah, I got my stuff back. And you, Roshi, are a disappointment to your mother. Where the hell did I park Roshi? Oh, he's over there. Why didn't you attack it? Because it didn't attack you? They just stole shit? It did attack me. B A N J A What are you spelling? B Puzzle completed. You spelt your name, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, it's part of the puzzle. You have to stomp out the name of the game. There's actually a puzzle later that has you do it backwards. Because it's part of the uh the witch's final quiz game. Uh -uh. Oh, go to hell, yum yum. Yum yum is a fucking clam who, no who knocks into you and steals your eggs. And feathers. That gets annoying as hell. 
I just like the name. Yum yum. Yeah. This game has its silly names, but it's a really good game. No piranha. No piranha. Okay, no piranhas. Just wish you'd have it a chance to play it yourself. Like I said, I tried it and I couldn't get into it. This wasn't for me. going. I said back up a bit. <laughs> Alright. Work my way around now. Ugh, I'll fly for that later. Ooh, make some more to grab those. If I can help it, I'll make this one a two-parter and then figure out what I gotta do for next week. Or, not next week, the week after that. And damn it. Didn't mean to take off immediately. Let's hit this X first. Alright. Let's try and do some superior flying skills to get this honeycomb. If you look at the stream, you'll see that. Where is it? Oh yeah, superior flying skills. <laughs> is it right there on the box? It, it was right above the box. Oh. So I have to pull out some superior flying skills in order to get there. Oh, that's right. She she tires out fairly fast, doesn't she? No, no, no. Yeah, my, she's um, she's limited by how many red feathers I have. Ah. Uh, so I can't rise up unless I have red feathers. <laughs> Bitch. Gotcha. Wait I didn't do nothing. Not you. Where's Snacker? You said, I know you're here. You said bitch quit it, so I had to answer. There you are, motherfucker. That is how you deal with fucking Snacker. <laughs> Coffee and mints? I'll be right over. Okay. He's a shark. With a sense of humor. And right, and that defeat leaves him unable to respawn for a while. But he will respawn. That's an inevitability. I'm done for a while. Hmm? Nothing. I'm thinking out loud to myself what else I'll have to do. I want to try for that right now. I'll do it a bit. Kill him and then I'm able to respawn so I can get back to shore. Goodness, people want my attention. <laughs> <laughs> 